David Milton Crouch, a 27-year-old from Stevensville, Maryland, was not just any cycling enthusiast. Alongside his wife, he transformed his passion for bicycles into a thriving business, owning a local bike shop where both dreams and two-wheeled adventures were daily realities. Their lives, intertwined with the joy of cycling, epitomized a dream come true for many. David's life, deeply rooted in the love for the open road and the freedom it offered, was a testament to pursuing one's passion with vigor and dedication. However, the serene and fulfilling life David led took an unexpected turn on August 31st of 1997. On that breezy autumn day, David set out from his home, unknowingly for the last time, embarking on a hiking and fishing expedition far from the familiar landscapes of Maryland. The destination was the Bridger Tenton National Forest in western Wyoming, a vast wilderness spanning over 2,000 miles from his doorstep. This was a place of rugged beauty and untamed nature, far removed from the cycling trails and community he knew so well. David, along with three friends and a guide, ventured into the heart of this wilderness, seeking adventure amidst its towering peaks and serene lakes. Yet, what was meant to be a journey of exploration and camaraderie swiftly veiled into a mystery that has perplexed many to this day. As the group navigated the sprawling expanse of the forest, David became separated from his companions. Intent on a solo fishing trip to Island Lake, a picturesque spot nestled within the forest's embrace, he departed from the group, stepping into the unknown. The circumstances of David's disappearance remain shrouded in mystery, casting a shadow over the forest's natural splendor. Despite the passing of time, the questions linger, echoing among the trees and across the lakes of the National Forest. What unfolded on that fateful day as David pursued a moment of solitude by Island Lake? At 27, David Milton Crouch was in the prime of his life, his essence interwoven within the spirit of cycling. His passion wasn't just a hobby, it was the very best of his heart, a rhythm that guided his life's journey. Together with his wife, David channeled this unwavering love for cycling into a venture that was more than just a business. It was a shared dream in motion. In their bike shop nestled in Stevensville, Maryland, they didn't just sell bicycles. They were architects of adventure, curators of freedom on two wheels. Their life was a harmonious blend of personal passion and professional ambition, a rare feat where work and play danced together seamlessly. David's expertise and enthusiasm for cycling transformed their bike shop into a local hub, a place where fellow cycling enthusiasts can not only find their perfect ride, but also a community. Together, David and his wife cultivated a space that thrived on the joy of cycling, making their dream a reality for themselves and their customers. This idyllic existence, however, was marked by a profound love for the outdoors, a trait that extended beyond the confines of cycling paths and into the heart of nature itself. It was a love that eventually led David to the vast, open space of the Bridger Tenton National Forest. Yet, as he ventured into this new wilderness, little did anyone know that it would become the backdrop to a mystery that would leave a lingering question mark in the serene environment of the National Forest. On the last day of August in 1997, David and his companions, guided by the spirit of adventure, embarked on a journey into the National Forest. This vast expanse of wilderness, contrasting with the familiar terrains of Maryland, promised an escape into nature's untouched beauty. The group, although overwhelmed with excitement, was treading on unfamiliar ground, a fact that underscored their adventure with the element of the unknown. As the day unfolded, David, ever the enthusiast for new experiences, felt a pull towards Island Lake, a serene spot known for its fishing potential. Armed with nothing but his fishing rod, he decided to split from the group for a solo expedition. It was a decision made in the moment, driven by the allure of solitude and the tranquil beauty of the lake. However, David's spontaneous venture was marked by a critical oversight. He had left behind his survival gear, venturing into the wilderness, unprepared for what lay ahead. The hours passed, and as the sun began to set, a sense of unease settled over the group. David had not returned. What started as a day filled with anticipation and joy slowly morphed into a situation fraught with concern. The realization that David was missing catalyzed his friends into action. 
they retraced their steps, scouring the paths they had taken, in hopes of finding any sign of their missing friend. The forest, vast and indifferent, offered no clues, only deepening the mystery of David's whereabouts. By the following morning, with David still missing and the night's cold having claimed the forest, the gravity of the situation was undeniable. The Sublette County Sheriff's Office was alerted, and what ensued was a search operation that saw the mobilization of local search and rescue teams. The forest, once a backdrop for adventure, became the focus of a determined search effort. Teams combed through the wilderness, driven by the hope of finding David safe. Yet, as days turned into nights and back into days, the forest remained silent, keeping the secret of David's disappearance within its vast embrace. The search, extensive in its scope, brought together a community united in concern, but was met with the harsh reality of nature's profound and puzzling silence. In the wake of David's disappearance, the National Forest became the epicenter of an exhaustive search operation. The mission to find David saw the deployment of resources on a scale seldom seen. Helicopters beat the air above, their blades slicing through the silence of the forest, while search teams on foot navigated the treacherous underbrush below. Dogs, trained to seek out human scents, were let loose, with their keen noses hopeful of picking up a trail left by David. The community, both local and beyond, watched and waited, their collective breath held in anticipation of any new news. The challenges facing the search teams were formidable. The terrain of the Bridger Tenton National Forest is as beautiful as it is unforgiving. Vast swaths of lands with rugged peaks and deep valleys, making the task of searching not just difficult, but also perilous. The weather, an ever-present force in the wilderness, turned against the efforts of the rescuers. Bad weather rolled in, reducing visibility, hampering the helicopters, and adding a pressing urgency to the search. David, who had ventured out with nothing more than his fishing rod, was ill-equipped to face the elements, a fact that cast a shadow of grim reality over the hopes of finding him safe. As days turned into weeks, the intensity of the search efforts began to wane. Resources, both physical and emotional, were stretched thin. The local authorities, who had led the search with the determination fueled by hope, began to acknowledge the dawning reality of the situation. Statements were made, grim in their acceptance of likelihood that David had not survived this ordeal. The decision to scale back the search was met with heavy hearts, a testament to the harsh truth that sometimes, despite the best efforts of many, nature keeps its secrets closely guarded. David Milton Crouch's disappearance left a void in the heart of Stevensville, Maryland, a community that had known him not just as a business owner, but as a friend, neighbor, and an integral part of their community in daily lives. The news of his vanishing in the remote wilderness of Wyoming sent ripples of shock and sorrow through the town, uniting its residents in a shared sense of loss and concern. In the wake of the tragedy, the Crouch family found themselves surrounded by the warmth and support of their community. Despite their overwhelming grief, they took comfort in the outpouring of love and solidarity. The Crouch family is one of the well-known families on the island, remark Reverend Ken Valentine, pastor of Kent Island United Methodist Church, where David was a member. We've had prayers for David all last week. It's very sad, he added, voicing the collective heartache that gripped the community. The family's response to the tragedy was one of quiet dignity, choosing to grieve privately. They nonetheless expressed their gratitude for the ceaseless support, the prayers, and the hope that continued to come from their neighbors and friends. It has to be a terrible feeling to have someone missing and not knowing if he is dead or alive. My heart goes out to the family, shared Dolores Timms, a neighbor, encapsulating empathy and concern in her statement. Amidst the sorrow, the community spirit remained unbroken. Vigils were held and David's story was shared far and wide, keeping the flame of hope alive for any news of his whereabouts. The collective effort to support the Crouch family underscored a fundamental truth about Stevensville. In times of despair, the community stood as one, offering a beacon of light in the darkest of times. David's disappearance became more than a personal tragedy for his family. It was a moment that united the community, a reminder of the bonds that hold us together in the face of uncertainty and sorrow. 
As the years have passed, the mysterious disappearance of David Milton Crouch on August 31st of 1997 in the vast expanse of the Bridger Tent National Forest remains an unsolved chapter in the lives of those who knew him and the community at large. David was described as a white male with brown hair, standing 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighing approximately 175 pounds. He was last seen wearing jeans and a flannel shirt. These details, frozen in time, serve as a reminder of a person who stepped into the wilderness that day, never to return. The Sublette County Sheriff's Office continues to seek any information regarding David's disappearance, urging anyone who might know something, no matter how insignificant it may seem, to come forward. This event serves as a reflection on the unpredictable nature of wilderness exploration and the critical importance of preparation and safety measures. David's story underscores the need for adventure to equip themselves, not only with the necessary gear, but also with the knowledge and skills to navigate the challenges posed by the natural world. In memory of David and in honor of the ongoing efforts to find him, we call upon listeners to share any information they may have related to his disappearance. Furthermore, this story reminds us of the strength found in community support during times of tragedy. Let's stand together, offering hope and assistance to those affected by loss, and continue to foster a culture of safety and preparedness for all who seek to explore the beauty and majesty of our natural surroundings.